The very first significant collection came from a Minnesotan. Philip Hench and his wife, Mary Kaler Hench. Dr. Hench was a rheumatologist at the Mayo Clinic. He was an active member of the Norwegian Explorers, the local Sherlockian group that was formed by five university faculty members. When that collection came in 78, that really put us on the map in terms of being a significant collection. One of the people, one of the folks who visited to see the Hench collection was a guy by the name of John Bennett Shaw, who had the largest private collection. No connection with the university, but he saw how the university was caring for the Hench collection, was very interested in having a further conversation, and by 1983, he had signed an agreement that his collection was gonna come here. So that's how it really happened. It was, it was the Henches and their collection, which was an over-the-top, rare, very rare item kind of collection, and John Bennett Shaw's collection, which was this massive landscape. Uh, very different collectors. Um, John Bennett Shaw had the collecting sensibilities, I think, of a vacuum cleaner. Anything and everything that had to do with Sherlock Holmes, he wanted it uh, as part of his collection. So when you put those two kind of collectors and those two kind of collections together, it's not hard then to get to a point where you are all of a sudden the world's largest collection of Sherlock Holmes.